Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is actually a tag video. I was tagged by my friend Anki from Makeup by Anki to do this video. This is the My Indie Collection Tag Eyeshadow Edition. Um, so if you're interested in hearing all about my Indie Eyeshadow Collection, stick around. We're gonna get started in just a second. But before we do, if you're new here, hi, I'm Annie. I'm a 40-something lover of color who believes you can have fun with color at any age. If that sounds fun or interesting, if you would like to see a little more color in your timeline, if you you love colorful makeup and indie makeup as much as I do, as much as I know all my subscribers here do, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe yourself. Please do keep in mind I am not a trained makeup artist. I am just somebody who really, really loves to play with makeup and really loves to talk about makeup, especially indie makeup. And I, my, in my real life, I have exactly one friend who wears makeup. So... <laughs> Yeah, she gets bored really fast uh, listening to me talk about all of this stuff. So you will probably hear some music in the background. My daughter is once again practicing. Right now I just heard her banging on the piano, um, but she's also practicing her trumpet here, so you will probably hear that in the background. Um, okay, a little bit about this tag. This tag was originally created by two creators on Instagram. Um, Legally Black Beauty and Dose of Lolaid. So that's where this palette, uh, this tag originated. They both are lovers of indie makeup as well. And so they came up with this tag and here we are. Um, and a little bit about Anki. If you're not following Anki, I will leave her channel listed down below. She is so much fun. She does the brightest, boldest, totally crazy and cool eyeshadow looks you will ever see. They're super amazing. So if you're not following her already, hop on over to her channel and uh, take, a, take, a, take a gander, I guess. All right, I should stop rambling because I ramble a lot and this video could get really long and I'm gonna try to keep it under half an hour for y'all. Okay, so let's just dive into the questions. I have my iPad set up here so that I can read the questions because my memory is shite and I will never ever remember them. So we're gonna read them off my iPad here and we are just going to just jump in. Starting with question number one. Question number one is your favorite indie palette. Now, if you have been here for any length of time at all and you watched my mid-year kind of palette roundup, talking about all the palettes I purchased in 2020, which is way too many. Um, you will know the answer to this question already. And that is my Muse Beauty Impressionisms palette. I adore this palette. I think it is so, so pretty. It is just, it's gorgeous. I, I love the color story, first of all. It really does like speak to you like on an artistic level. These colors very much remind me of the impression Impressionism era when it comes to art and it's just, it's lovely. But the reason it's my favorite is because of these mattes. The matte formula in this palette is impeccable. It has got to be probably the best matte formula that I have ever, ever used. It is just that good. The shimmers are okay. They get the job done. They're not my favorite. I really prefer like something with a little more foil and a little more sparkle, but the mattes just hit this palette out of the park for me. So this is my favorite palette in my collection. I absolutely adore this. Moving on to the next question. The next question is your favorite duo and multi-chromes. Now, I don't like this question because I feel like it makes me choose between my favorite children. I only have one child, but still. It's hard. How do you ch how do you choose your favorite multi-chrome? How? Like how? So, I had to think long and hard about this. And then I settled on two shadows that are the same color. So that's why I, I chose two. There will be some cheating happening in, in this video, by the way, but this is not really a cheat because this is the exact same color. One of them I've actually got on my eyeballs today um, and the other one's the exact same color. So the ones I'm going to choose come from Davina. I know everyone's surprised by that and Notice Beauty. So it is from Davina. It is this shade here, Tucana, and its counterpart from Notice, I can never say this is 
Auriga maybe. And it is just the most beautiful pink to kind of gold to kind of yellow shift. It is what I have in my inner corner right now. I used the Notice one today and it is so, so pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch these for you. So this is the Notice one. It's on my little finger there. I'm just going to make a small swatch. And this is the one from Davina. And you can see there, they are the exact same color. I am not even mad about that because I love this color so much that um, I want to have it all over my lids all the time. The formula is a little bit different. I feel like the Davina one is a little bit drier, whereas the Notice one is a little creamier. And I think the Davina has just a tad more like glittery sparkles in it, but they both have that amazing, beautiful shine and I can't get enough of it. So that is my favorite multi-chrome shadow. Moving on, to the next question. Is my favorite matte, indie matte and shimmer? So for my mattes, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna choose two different palettes. The first palette I'm going to choose is back to that Musée Beauty because really this is the most outstanding matte formula I have ever used. It's just that good. So that really is my favorite matte formula. But I'm also going to choose another one because this video could get very repetitive very, very fast if I just keep choosing that palette. So the other palette I'm going to choose is actually my Creepy Cute palette from Shroud Cosmetics. I absolutely adore this matte formula. So this is, of course, an all matte kind of pastel palette. I think that Shroud Cosmetics makes some beautiful matte shadows. They blend really, really easily, and they are full pigment right off the bat. You don't need to build these up. They just go on wham bam, just like they are in the palette. And I love that about them. And plus, like I said, they do blend very, very nicely. So those will be my favorite matte in these shadows. As far as shimmers, again, this is so hard because I love shimmery, sparkly shadows. And I, I was like, what do I choose? What do I choose? I just don't know. What do I choose as I'm looking around at my ridiculous collection of eyeshadows? Um, and I just finally decided that I was going to choose the shimmers from Glam Light. I just pulled out my little street taco right now because it's small and easy to hold up and uh, not big and cumbersome. I love Glam Light's shimmer formula. I think it is so beautiful. It is that beautiful foiled sparkle that I love. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch a couple Pico de Gallo and I guess I will swatch Red Onions. So this is Pico de Gallo and this is Red Onions. I don't mind like a chunky formula. I actually really love it. I want that texture and I want that sparkle and shine. So these ones are a little chunky when you pick them up like on your finger, but they are very smooth and beautiful when you swatch them out or put them on your eyeball. eyeball. Eyeballs! They're very reflective. They are absolutely gorgeous and pretty much all of their shimmers are like that. I love them so, so, so much. So I'm just going to say that they have my favorite shimmer formula. And we're going to leave it at that because that was hard. Um, most unique indie palette or bundle. This is another one. This was hard. I really, really had a hard time with this. It was so difficult to choose like my favorite. But I settled on the Nomad Orient Express palette. Now, I know you're probably thinking it's a very neutral palette, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, the reason I chose this one, honestly, is first of all, I love the packaging. I think it's so pretty and it's so like elegant. But actually this color story makes me think. It really makes me think about what I want to do with my eyeshadow. I really have to think hard because it's so different, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't necessarily always see these colors going together. 
Does that make sense? I don't know, and maybe that's weird, and maybe that's a drawback for some people, but for me, I like a palette that really like engages my mind that I kind of have to sit there and think about for a minute. Yeah, some days I just wanna pull something out, whack it on my eyes and get out the door, but other days I really wanna spend some time with that creative process, and I feel like this palette kind of gives me that. It just is so different and so interesting, um, and the way you can combine the different shades to get a different look just kind of intrigues me and inspires me. So I am going to go with the Nomad Cosmetics Orient Express Palette for my most unique in the palette or bundle. And also, I mean, yes, I kept the outer box. I keep the outer boxes for lots of my palettes because it's so pretty and it has trumpets on it. So there we are. The next one is my most surprising indie shadow. Okay. So this one I had to think about again, and I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm a cheater. I don't know what to say. Um, the first one I'm going to choose is actually this bundle here from um, MBA Cosmetics. This is the Glow with the Flow bundle. Honestly, I mean, I love MBA Cosmetics. If Again, if you spent any time here, you'll know that I really, really enjoy that brand. I think that um, they have a lot of really fun, interesting products. Um, and so this bundle I purchased because it's bright and beautiful and I love bright, beautiful shadows, but I honestly wasn't so expecting these to perform the way that they do. They are surprisingly, surprisingly good, especially given that the entire bundle is like $24. I mean, I, I was shocked at how good these were. So this one definitely like super surprised me. And then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to cheat because I'm going to choose some other ones as well. And that's going to be my, ooh, oops, that would have been tragic. This is my Luxie Shadow Collection. I haven't used many of these, but the ones that I've used, again, beyond surprising to me. I cannot believe these are $3. Like, are you kidding me? How are these shadows $3? Like, it, it's incredible to me. So this shade, I have the, the uh, Butterfly Kisses collection and I also have the two um, Ice Cream Social 1 and 2 bundles here. And I cannot believe how great they are. Let's see, I'm just gonna swatch, I guess, a couple of them for you. So this one here, I absolutely adore. This is Apollo from the Butterfly Kisses collection. It is so pretty. I mean, look at the pigment on that, on my finger, if it will focus. Look at how beautiful that is. And then when you swatch it, it is just so bright and reflective. I used this the other day and I, I died. I like died at just how beautiful it was. Um, and then let's go ahead and swatch this one as well because I love this shade. This is the shade Ube. This is from the Ice Cream Social. I think this is from the second bundle, if I recall correctly. And this is just this beautiful, beautiful, like multi-chrome, multi-dimensional shadow. And when you swatch this one out, that was a terrible swatch. It is just so pretty. It's here, it's just gorgeous. I don't know if it's picking up that shift, but it shifts between purple and pink and kind of this icy bluish green shade. Absolutely beautiful. So I'd say that those are my most surprising shadows just based on price alone, $3. $3. Can you believe it? $3. Okay. Moving on to my newest indie shadow. So um, again, I'm going to cheat a little and this is going to be my newest indie shadow as of this moment of filming because I actually have more eyeshadow that's due to arrive today. So I'm not gonna use that one because that would be really cheating and I'm just gonna use this one. And I'm gonna cheat because <laughs> I have two. And that would be my Notice Beauty Shadows, which are not those. My Notice Shadows, which I showed you earlier. Where are they? There they are. Um, these, this is the, um, ooh, what's this called again? What's this collection called? I just, I just had it up. This is the, uh, her, her. bear with me. 
This is, oh, the Constellation Collection from Notice Beauty. Actually, these six are the Constellation Collection. This is one that she threw in for free. And um, yeah, I just got these in the mail and I love them. I think they're beautiful. I have them on my eyeballs today. And the other one are also, mm, my Luxie Beauty shadows. I have been trying to get a hold of Luxie Beauty shadows forever, and I finally lucked out and was able to grab them all. So those are my two like newest to my collection shadows. Next up, I think is the um, palette I'd never depot. Well, first of all, I would never depot any of my palettes because part of the experience for me when it comes to makeup is the packaging. I'm a sucker for really cute packaging. You probably noticed I mentioned the packaging for pretty much all of them. I love them. You, you, you give me a good package and and I'm gonna buy that puppy. It's just, it's just the way I am. So the ones, if I have to choose though, the ones that I would never depot, they are going to be my ZC Alice in Wonderland palettes. Um, if you haven't seen these palettes, they are incredible. So this is the red one. This is the Off With Her Heads palette. It looks like this and it has a snow globe in it. It is so, so, so cute. I love them. And then this is the We're All Mad Here palette, which is the blue one. And again, it has got that amazing snow globe happening in there. And I bought these purely for the packaging. That is why I bought them. I almost put these as my most surprising shadows because I was actually very, very surprised at how well they performed. I mean, I, I've said it and you guys are probably tired of hearing me say it. The color stories are weird and awkward and completely mad. Um, and as someone pointed out, one of my subscribers pointed out, it's Alice in Wonderland, so maybe mad is the kind of theme they were going for, but they are completely mad and they really don't make a whole lot of sense, the color stories. But the mattes especially are really, really good. I was surprised. I honestly didn't think that I would enjoy the matte formula in these at all. The shimmers are also very, very unique. They're a little hard to work with, but they're very, very unique. Um, and they behave probably differently than any other shadow that I've ever put on my lid. So I almost put those as my um, most surprising palettes, but decided to put them in the, the not depot section. All right, we're getting down to the end. Um, let's see, I only have two questions left. The oldest indie single or palette. So honestly, I have to say, I haven't really been using indie shadows for that long. Um, I think I really, really got into indie indie makeup this year. I did have a couple of things in my collection that were indie, but most of the things were, you know, from name, name big, big brands. Uh, I don't know why that is. I, I think it's just because it's easily accessible and sometimes, um, you know, you can, people might be a little bit, and I know I was like this, a little bit afraid to purchase from small independent brands because we've all been burned in the past purchasing things online and stuff. And you can't swatch them, you can't see them, you know, in person. So you just kind of have to go off pictures and things like that, which can make buying, you know, indie makeup a little bit, um, a little bit scary, honestly, at first, and, and a little bit anxiety-inducing, uh, but then I just decided I was just gonna dive into it, and so I did. And so I think my oldest indie shadows, and I don't have very many of these, are my shadows from Makeup Geek. That's these ones over here. You can see I've only got six of them, and I at first originally like received I think these two, actually I got in BoxyCharm. That was my kind of first introduction to like an independently owned makeup brand. And I liked them so much, even though they weren't my color at all, that I decided to pick up a few more of their shadows just to try them out. And I really, really did do enjoy these shadows. I think they're really pretty. I have to say though, that now that I have tried some other indie brands, Makeup Geek does not have my favorite formula for, especially for shimmers and things like these. I mean, these are fine for what they are, but um, they aren't my favorite anymore. But I have to say they are my 
oldest indie shadows. I've had them for, you know, a couple of years. Ooh, maybe going on three years now. I've had them for a while. Um, and then I didn't really buy a lot of indie. And then this year I, I went, I went crazy, crazy. Okay. Um, the last question is my most used in a single or palette. This was, again, this was hard because I do try to use all of my shadows because I love them so, so much. So I decided to cheat again. I'm sorry. Um, my cheating is because I'm gonna choose one palette and then I'm going to choose some, some singles. The palette that I'm going to choose is my Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku palette. I love this palette. I purchased this when it first launched. Um, I think it launched last summer, so I've had this for a year. And I absolutely adore this palette. I think it is so, so, so pretty. Um, this row here of multi-chrome, duo-chrome kind of topper shades is just insanely pretty. It was kind of my first introduction to this type of shadow. Um, and I was just, you probably can't see it because again, these are very kind of light, lightly pigmented. I use them more as like a topper, sparkly topper, but they are just so, so pretty. Um, and I just love the formula from Nomad anyways. It's just one of my favorite like indie brands like ever. And I buy a lot of stuff from them, even things that I have no business buying from them because they're neutral and here I am. I am not a neutral girl, obviously, but um, yeah, I really do love this palette and I use it an awful lot. Um, you probably don't see much of it on camera because it is older, but I do use it a lot in my everyday life. Um, oftentimes I will dip into this for one of these just to put on top of something else, or like if I need to pull a pastel shade into another look, I will often use this palette because I love it. I think it's really, really pretty. The thing about mold, um, Nomad's formula though, their matte formula, is you gotta be careful what you mix it with because sometimes it does not play well with other brands. It just doesn't. You can mix mix and match different Nomad palette formulas, but sometimes pulling it into a look with another brand's, they don't like each other. So it's, it can be a little finicky sometimes in that respect. When used on its own, not finicky at all. Fantastic. And I love this palette and I use it all the time. And then I'm going to cheat, like I said, and I am going to talk about my um, Davina um, Willy Wonka Exploders. So that's these shadows right here. I love them so, so much. I don't think I could choose like just one that I use all the time because it's something that like, I, I use them all. I use them all probably equally. I just do. Just because I love them to top matte shadows if I'm doing like a look with Creepy Cute, I will pull in one of these to put on top of the mattes and just make everything sparkle. I use them for inner corner. I love every single one of these. So I cannot choose just one shadow. I just can't. It's impossible. Um, it's just the way I am. And then honorable mention, I'm going to talk about these two little shadows up here. These two are from Beauty Bar Baby. And I also adore Beauty Bar Baby. So also one of my favorite um, indie brands. I love to buy their multi-chrome flakes. That's what I have most from, from Beauty Bar Baby. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm a big cheater. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all the questions. There were nine questions. So I finished all my questions. I would love to hear from you guys. What is your favorite? I would love, I will put the questions in the description box and I would absolutely love to hear from you guys. If you have a channel, I would love it if you would do this tag as well and let me know that you did it so that I can come watch it because I am always so interested to hear about other people's collections. I always wanna know what other people are enjoying because if you're enjoying it, I might enjoy it too. And um, I like to buy things. So <laughs> things I really have no business buying, but I do it anyways. Anyhow, I think that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much, Anki, for tagging me in this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please, please, please leave a like down below. And then if you aren't already, scooch on over, hit subscribe. Next to subscribe is that little bell. If you ring that little bell, you should be notified of all of my uploads. And of course, you can find me on Instagram at seemybliss underscore beauty. And if you leave the house today, please remember to wear your mask, 
wash your hands, be kind to your friends, be kind to your neighbors, be kind to your family, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!